Welcome back everybody to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different, still hunting related, but we're going to be making our own DIY European mount uh, pedestal. Or essentially I'm going to be using a fence post to hang my European mounts on. So this is what we're going to be working with today. This is an old cedar fence post. Uh, funny enough, I have three European mounts that I'm going to mount to this today, and they all just so happen to come from the same property. So I figured, let's do this, let's DIY it, and uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I got some, uh, we got to build the base, we're going to decorate it, the whole nine yards. But before we get into that, please, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you could please, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like, it helps my videos reach more people. So what I'm thinking about doing here is making an 18 by 18 inch square. There's 18. Go up. 18. So it's gonna be a pretty big base. That fence post is kind of heavy. So I wanna make sure I have enough base on there. So that's gonna be about the size of it here here so it's going to be about this big okay here's our base uh, let me double check make sure that it is in fact 18 by 18 18 on the money 18 on the money, 18, and 18, good. So the next thing I'm going to do is, this is a oak 1x4, I'm going to cut this into sections and nail it fast to the base to kind of make a border, so that way I can put some like decorations in, I actually went to Michael's today and shopped at Michael's, that was a whole freaking blast, I am not meant for Michael's. Now. Since I know that this board on two sides will for sure be 18 inches, I'm going to cut two sections of this at 18 inches, and then I'm going to figure out what the size is in between the two boards. That is just about perfect there. So I'm gonna do another one for the other side too. Here's our second board. That fits on there pretty darn good. And then I'm gonna fasten these a while so that way they don't move, my dimensions won't change. Cause uh, right now we're looking at about 16 and a quarter on the inside gap. So I'm gonna fasten these real quick and then cut the board for this one. Or actually, two boards. All right, so I'm gonna just, uh, every couple inches, drill some holes in here just to help guide these finish nails in. Okay, there is one side. I just gotta do this four more times. All right, here is our box. Uh, surprisingly enough, surprisingly enough, it turned out way better than I thought. So the next thing I want to do is, because I don't know how long this is going to take to dry, we're going to stain it. I have focus. I have some uh, red mahogany stain. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of selections at Home Depot, so this is what kind of like what we're stuck with. So what I'm planning on doing here is I'm just going to take a rag, dip some in, smear it around, and just kind of do it that way. I don't know if it's going to take one coat, two coat, 
I really have no idea, but looks like this stuff's a little bit darker than what I anticipated. stained up. I'm not going to do the bottom because that's going to get filled, but I did do the insides of it just because I don't know how deep I'm going to go with the decorations. I, th I honestly, I think one coat might do it. I don't want to go overboard and over uh, stain it. So we're just going to go with one coat. So while that dries, we are going to try to get the bottom of this as flat as possible could be a little difficult just because nothing on this is necessarily straight so this could be uh <coughs> this could end up being a little difficult all right i think i got it on the first try so now i just have to wait for the rest of this to dry before i touch anything and then we're going to fasten that fence post well, I threw two screws in the back of this post. Um, it seems absurdly sturdy. Obviously, I messed up that one. But it's going to be in the back of the uh, piece, so it's not the end of the world. Essentially, it's going to sit in there like that. And I have to somehow get three deer heads on that thing, which it, it, it's doable. It's totally doable. And then we're going to decorate the inside of this with some like fall foliage. All right, so I've now brought our little project home. I didn't want to decorate it and then I have to transport it back home. So what we are working with here is I bought some foam just to kind of take up some of this. Obviously, I did not buy enough. So I'm going to cut this stuff, every piece of this, in half. I'll have more than enough coverage then. And then we'll fill it with uh, some moss in here. I bought a wreath. I have some sticks. And then at the very last, we're going to mount the, the Euro mounts to the fence post. That stuff was a little bit messier than what I thought. But like I said, I just wanted to fill this up. So that way I'm not using so much of the moss that I bought. All right, so this is what I'm gonna be filling the bottom with. Um, it's essentially, it's just moss. Like I said, I got two different colors, more of a green and some brown, just to, that way the whole thing's not all brown. And my wife told me I can glue this stuff down. There ain't no way I'm ever gonna be able to glue this stuff down. So with the brown down, now I'm gonna put, there's some holes here and there. Uh, I'm gonna use this green stuff to fill up the holes. This is really green. To me it looks, kinda of looks like the forest floor. Too heavy with it and not heavy enough. So I popped some of those sticks in. Uh, I don't know how I feel about them yet. I want to have something, but not too much of something. And we still have to mount three deer heads onto this thing. So this could all move. So the next thing I bought was a $60 wreath. Thank God it was 90% off at Michael's, but it's got some yellow oak in it. Um, these really look like Bradford pear leaves. So it just so happened, just so happens that all three of these deer that we're going to mount on here, I shot off the same property. I shot them out of a maple tree that produces yellow leaves. I, I shot one out of a Bradford pear and the other one was a sawtooth oak. And these are kind of like oak looking leaves. It just so happens this wreath had all three of them. So this is just going to, I really just bought it for a couple leaves off of this thing. So I'm just going to, again, this hot glue gun is just not really the greatest thing in the world. I'm 
Forest floor, guys. What do you know? This is the big moment here. I got to put a screw in here, and we're going to fasten the first deer head and try to figure out where the rest are going to go. Well, I know I want one up top. Oh, that looks sweet. That looks real good. I should probably put this on the ground. Let's put this first head on. We'll try to get a game plan for where the other ones are going to go. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the, uh, the heads mounted this way or if I'm going to end up getting uh, bases. I do have a base for one of them. So I don't know. I don't know if a base like that would be better. All right, let's see if we can get this thing to stay. Oh yeah. Oh, that don't look good. And we'll put the other, whoa. Use a little bit more of an angle on it. Something like that. That was close. So we'll put the other two somewhere down on the bottom. final piece this is an arrow from my wife's grandfather who uh, I never really got to meet but he was an avid hunter and that right there sets the whole piece off perfectly I'm really happy with how this turned out. I am by far not an artsy craftsy person. I just added the, the two sheds there. They aren't from the property that these bucks are from, but man, doesn't that make that look beautiful? Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's something different. I'm not the greatest craftsman in the world, but this, this is probably one of the best things I've ever made in my entire life. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, peace.